See that right there? That's too hot for deer hunting in October. Gonna go and just check some cameras down here, not too far from my house. Oops, sorry about that. See what's on them. If something good, I may set up, but that's to be determined yet. Heading back to the house. A couple of decent bucks on that camera, but I think they're both maybe three-year-olds. So, I'm not saying I wouldn't shoot a three-year-old, but I wouldn't shoot those two. I don't think. Go back and help Maddie, anyways. Get ready for everybody to come home tonight and making sure everything's in order. Are you kidding me? What? Holy cow. Nice. Awesome. Um, you may bring the deer cart out there because I'm not hunting. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Whew. I, I would have guessed tonight would not have been the night. I think would have got one to be honest with you. I guess I won't be helping Maddie with stuff tonight. Okay, I got bad news and I got good news. What's that? Nothing on my cameras. Oh. The good news is, Zank shot one. Oh, nice. A good one? Yeah, I think so. Nice. You gonna go help him? Yep. So I gotta go to my cart and get on the road then. Okay. So can you let me, you can yep. you let me in? Yeah, dude, come on. Coming in hot. Oh. Uh -oh. Keep her moving. So what do you think? I think I, it looked good. It looked good to me too. I think it looked good. I'm excited. Oh, me too. I got the deer cart, but I also have two packs. I mean, what do you think's easier? It's probably easier. I got a you got a pack, sled packs, too. I think we can make it work. I got my little one and I got a big one too. Tell me what happened, Zink. All right, so I uh, came in through the spot we discussed yeah. and uh, I just kept seeing good trails crossing this dried up creek bed and I just kept pushing. I wanted to get in between these two points or as close as I could with the wind to my advantage. And I kicked out one deer. So then I said, I'm gonna, every time I do that, I push a little further in super stealth mode. And I got my tree stand hung before I pulled anything up. This deer I shot was under this oak tree eating acorns. And uh, while he was doing that, I pulled my bow up, set up the camera, That's got crazy. all that done. And I think I still got like seven minutes of footage. And then he finally got into an opening, ranged it. It was like 40 yards of this tree, and he was just a couple steps in front of it. So I had my pin set at 40 and sent it. And uh, yeah. like, it looks really good. I got a green, yeah. Luma, green whatever Luminoc thing on there, and it sent perfect. So let's go. But I have not checked to see anything yet. You had all my 
that stuff. And here's where you're sitting? Yep. You can see that hen of the wood, or that oyster, that on that, see that mushroom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not where he was. He was on his tree. Let's go check it out. Let's talk about the part of hunting that absolutely sucks. If you hunt long enough, you're eventually going to lose a deer like Zank did last night. And it, it's horrible. It's like the part of hunting that I hate the most. It happens, but to not sugarcoat it or give like excuses uh, for hunters, it's not a pretty part of hunting, but it's a reality of, of hunting. And it seems like whenever we do something like that as hunters, we always have some type of an excuse as to why it wasn't our fault, or you know maybe it was my it was my broadhead did this, or uh, you know I hit the, I hit a limb, I I the deer moved, whatever the case may be, and it's like, yep, that's hunting, and I'm not going to say it's okay because it it's like a reality that really sucks. Like I think if you could take that factor out of hunting hunting would be um perfect maybe and nothing's perfect and unfortunately for us as hunters that reality is a tough one to to, to like argue with people about because it is like a it's a kind of a gruesome thing wounding a deer um i just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit like this happens and it's something that us as hunters have to realize happens and understand that that is not the prettiest thing or the most sexy thing with with, with deer hunting it's a uh, it sucks man so for zank's deer we were reviewing the footage in the field on his little handy cam screen and it looked perfect got back home put it on my big monitor up here and you could clearly see that he just smoked the deer right here in the uh, like in the elbow area. It looked like to me, the deer kind of loaded to go away, and when he did, he tucked his shoulders back, and his his arrow just smacked right in that elbow. And it was a really nice deer too for a public land out of state hunt, but it happens. That deer definitely felt that, but I don't think it's a it was a a fatal shot by any means. And we did our due diligence. We were out there till. 10 p.m. tracking uh, the drips of blood until it finally was over. So that's kind of the end of the story for that deer for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you wound a deer, all I can say is, man, that, that sucks. Don't make excuses. Learn from it and try to prevent it from happening in the future. See you tomorrow.